We are gonna be starting our Iowa landscape. A landscape is a picture of outside. And then we're gonna add a scarecrow on top of it. It's gonna be kind of a drawing and a painting and a collage all together. Mine got a little bit dirty, so this is gonna be my backside. On the back, I need you to write your name. Don't write Mrs. Weiss, that's my name. Your table color letter, the first letter of your table color. So R, O, Y, G, B, or P. And then your class code, whatever that is, 2J or 2B. Go ahead and flip your paper over. We're gonna have our paper be vertical, which means the tall way. And we're not gonna draw with pencil. We're just gonna start out by drawing with oil pastels. Each of your tables should have a box of oil pastels. Oil pastels are like fancy crayons but they are not washable like crayons. So please do not draw on the table, draw on your hands, draw on your clothes. Um, if you are doing that, then they're gonna be taken away from you. You won't be able to use them. So we are gonna start by drawing some of kind of like the hills, the corn, that kind of thing. So I want you to either choose between green, brown, or yellow. These are all, there's also a light green you could choose from. These are all colors that you would see in Iowa fields. Okay, we're just, we're not gonna be coloring anything in right now, we're just gonna be outlining. So any of these colors would work. You can also kind of mix and match and use a couple of them if you would like to. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up maybe like a hand tall from the bottom of my paper and draw kind of a rolling line like that. Then we're gonna add another hill from this side that kind of comes over like that. And then one more back here. Again, you can use green, brown, yellow, light green, whatever you wanna do for that. So we have kind of three different fields. Now to make them look kind of like corn fields, we're going to use any of these colors will work. We're gonna draw lines like that that go from the top to the bottom. These ones I'm gonna have kind of go a little bit diagonal that way. Again, if you want to switch colors in between, that's fine. Watch how I do the lines on the bottom. I want you to draw a line straight down the middle from top to bottom. This one, I want it to be just a little bit diagonal, just out a little bit. And then a little bit more. And a little bit more. This kind of makes them look like they're going back. Now let's do the same thing over here. This one's gonna be a little bit diagonal this way. And then a little bit more. And a little bit more. That's all we're going to do right now with the field. We don't need to color it in because we are gonna use watercolor paint later on to color it in. What I want you to do is use a yellow and somewhere around here, I want you to add a sun. This I do want you to color in. If you just want it to be a circle, that's great. If you wanna add some rays on it, that is great too. Go ahead and put in a sun in the sky. The last thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add some clouds. I'm gonna show you a little trick we did this last year when we drew our pig drawings. When you add clouds, the closer that they are to the horizon, to the ground, the farther away that they are and the smaller that we draw them. So I don't know if you can see on the video, but I'm gonna draw a really small white cloud right there. Let me just outline it with my pencil so that you can see it. I want you to just draw it with white. Okay, so that's kind of the shape I drew. And then we're gonna draw a few more and they're gonna get a little bit bigger the farther away from the ground that they are. 
You can even have some. I want you to have at least one that goes off the top of the page. So if they're kind of in the middle, they're medium size. If they are toward the bottom, they're really small. If they are toward the top, then they are big. Have at least one that goes off the top of the page. That is all we need to do for drawing. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of time, pause the video here to finish doing that, and then I'll show you how to paint it. Now we're going to be painting. We're going to be using watercolors. Everybody should have a bowl of water. Mine's a little bit dirty. I've been using it already today. Uh, but a bowl or a cup of water for your table and then everyone should have a paintbrush and watercolor paints. As a reminder, uh, to use watercolor paints, you just need to get your brush wet and then stir it around in whatever color you would like to use. If you switch colors, then you need to make sure that you wash out your brush. So we are gonna start by painting the sky. I think blue is a good color for the sky. So I'm gonna get my paintbrush wet. Nobody needs to be hitting their paintbrush on the side of the bowl. If you ever have too much water, you can just wipe it off on a paper towel. So dip it in the water. I'm gonna stir it around in my blue a little bit. And we're gonna paint the sky. Now watch what happens when I paint over the oil pastels. You should be able to see them still. If you're ever painting and your paint is really dark, it's really hard to spread out, that means that you have too much water, or I'm sorry, you have too much paint on your brush and not enough water. If it's got a bad hair day, it needs more water. So just grab a little bit more water and you can use that to spread it out. So you can try painting over your clouds. If you'd rather just paint around them, that's fine too. But the first thing that I want you to do is paint the whole sky blue. So I'm not gonna have you sit and watch me do that because that would take a long time. You understand what to do. I want you to pause the video here, give you some time to do that, and then I'll show you how to paint the ground here. When you're all done painting the sky, then we're gonna paint the fields. Now, just like we had before, we can use green, yellow, or brown to paint these. All of those would work. If you want to paint the whole thing green like that, the whole hill like that, that would be fine. Or you could do some kind of stripes, okay? If you wanted to do brown stripes, see how I made that really light? I did that by having a lot of water and then barely touching the brown. If I wanted a darker brown, then I'm going to really stir it around. And that's going to make it way darker. See how I did that? So that's how you can make lights and darks. So maybe here I want to do brown stripes with yellow in between. Every time you switch colors, you need to make sure that you wash out your brush. You're gonna push and swoosh. Push it on the bottom and swoosh it around. Okay, so nobody's landscape needs to look the same as mine or as the same as their neighbors, but I want you to spend some time painting your Iowa landscape. And then after that, we will add the scarecrow. 